Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, I guess we should start this off with questions about the test, questions about Connie or the JREF, or anything about the challenge. Just yell out anything you'd like, and we'll get this started. Yes, Nick. Uh, Connie, and uh, at, you know, after you failed the test, do you have uh, second thoughts about how fair it was? No, not at all. I do know what I can and what's behind Still. So it's okay. Can you elaborate on you do know what you can and what's behind? Yeah, you know, the story is huge, very. So I had to try to. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I still. Even though I missed this challenge, other well, things will come. And uh, I don't know what yet, because I have to follow some steps at a time, one step at a time. Everything sticks together, if you know what I mean. And uh, I have to do a step, like a puzzle, did you say so, um, to do some things before I can do some other things. This stuff about Dorsey, it's not uh, the real thing I mean. There's much more I could show if I was allowed to. Today, uh, I was not allowed to show you that I could find it, because I can't. I'm a, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, just real fast, let me go ahead and do a quick introduction. I assume that we all know each other incredibly well by this point, so just in case we don't, we have Mr. Randy down here, Fanny Check, Phil Plate, Connie, Jeff and I'm uh, Is there any test that, if you failed, would convince you that you did not have the ability? No, not at all. Connie, can you tell us, do you have any idea why you think you failed the test today? Yes. <laughs> Actually, before I went to the States, um, I had a thought about it that I would fail because something else are going to happen. And if you follow my name, I will sometimes. I can't say a time or reason, but if you, if you follow my name, at least for a summer, that will happen. But other than speculation about the future, you have no specific explanation as to why you failed today. Yes, I have. Because it wasn't the right time for people out there to get the truth. Now you can doubt. Now you can doubt about it all, but you could see something was going to happen when I doors, right? And it's not me. It's not through me. The powers come from outside. Connie, uh, Richard Saunders from Sydney, Australia. Did you try before coming here to give yourself a similar sort of test with cards and envelopes and that sort of thing? <laughs> One more time, please. Sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Before you came here, yeah. did you try to test yourself in Denmark with cards in envelopes? No, I don't have to. I see. Yeah. Do we have anyone else? Okay. Hi, uh, Alan Kozler from Des Moines. What, uh, what specifically have you done successfully with the uh, dowsing? Uh, many things. As I told before, the story is very huge. And one of my missions, if you can say so, there's no religion in it at all. There's no God or something like that. It's not about that. But uh, one of uh, the huge missions, um, it's not like this. It, it was a part of it, of course. But I did find the British uh, missing girl, Madeleine McKay. And I was told to do it, and I have the evidence. And why, I can shortly explain. I have went to the police, the top governments everywhere. They well, don't. Yeah, OK. Well, separate from the fact that uh, you just. Oh, wait, just one second. Let me go ahead and bring everyone up to speed on that. For those of you who don't know, Madeline McCann is a five-year-old girl who disappeared from Portugal. She's a British girl, and Connie has been in if you look in your package, she's been in magazines giving interviews about where she believes Madeline McCann is. But none of the information you found has actually found Madeline. <laughs> no. And why? That's the question. It is because the top of the governments, both here and there, um, is in both, and also the police. And I do have evidence of it. 
It will come. Did She's in South America now. And I was there before Christmas. Did you actually use dowsing like you did today to find Madeline? Um, no, not like that. Well, I, when I started to do what I'm doing, it's nearly two years ago now, I started with dowsing. I had never done that stuff before. But some friend told me that I, I had a crystal ball in my window, and a friend told me to dose with it. And then I tried, and suddenly all things happened at once. Two years ago. Hi, okay. I'm, I'm Paulo from Spain, and beside Portugal. So you can imagine that I know a lot about this case. You know how many people say that uh, they have seen her? Yeah, but it's a lie. Many, many of them. They, they are all liars, except you. No, 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 no. Some of it are lies. Some. We are being many, 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 <laughs> Yes. Because we don't, we, we have not, we, we are not going to forget her. It's a, a sort of propaganda, if you can say it so. And many, she's all right. They keep her for a, a special reason. But why? She is the chosen one. And it will come, it will come. The story is me, me and you. Me again. I can talk, if you press the bottom of on here, I can talk in a week now. Really. So I don't so want to do it. Do you hear voices or No, it's many different things. They write on my computer, talk to the they, 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 yeah, they. Who are they? What's behind us all? No, God, no, but there is something else. Okay. So it's not only in my head now, it's with my own eyes, with my own ears, and someone else can hear and see it too. But it's a, a huge explanation too. So if you look at the internet in August or September, I will write it all down. I don't know what the protocol is here. Can I ask a question? Yeah, Tommy. Tommy. Cool. Um, today, instead of just saying, I can't get it, you said, this is the card. And then you went to the next one and said, you didn't say, I don't think it's a card. You said, this is the card. Mm -hmm. And then I asked you the end. Yeah. Um, and yet, you were wrong. I'm asking this respectfully, please. Yeah. At the end, you were wrong on those. Yeah. How do you know that the same thing's not, the same doesn't apply with Maddie? Because you believe you were right today. No. How do you know that that's not the same thing? Because I know it's the truth. What what is the truth behind? I know several things I won't tell you here not right now because if I do, yeah, if you put put my button, I, I will talk and talk and talk. But when I pointed out the cards by Dawson, they told me it was the right cards. But sometimes they are lying because I had to find something else, something out myself. And this, this um, kind of stuff today here, it's probably because all the atheists and, and non-believers and what, uh, what do I know, um, they are going to, to think maybe a little more different like they used to do. Don't you get that in the real world too, though, with Maddie? Sorry. Don't you get that in the real world with Maddie? No, we, no, no. I did not understand. Get out there with Maddie. When you're looking for Maddie, don't you get the skeptics and don't you get that same no, I'm not really, I'm not really. But it will come, and uh, I will write it all down. And then sometime, you, uh, there's, um, we will come to a point where we got the uh, hold on it, if you know, <laughs> hold on the story, I mean. Also, Can I ask you many. one more question about the test? Yeah. Just the night yeah. Um, you approach the foundation, they didn't approach you, you approach them. Yeah. And you pretty much set the protocol, you said what it is yeah. that you could do. Yeah. You knew that you were going into a group of skeptics, yeah. you knew that ahead of time, and yeah. yet you did it anyway, yeah. knowing full well that, as you say now, that that might dampen your abilities in some way. Why would you do that? Because I know still the truth, what is behind. So even though people are trying to, to convince me of other things, no way. Well, Carl, you must understand something. We're not trying to convince you of anything. You are trying to convince us of something. You have 
voluntarily done this, and I congratulate you for your practice and your openness and your willingness to subject yourself to a proper double-blind test like this. But we're not trying to, we're not claiming that these powers don't exist. We never have. We've only said that we don't see any evidence for them, and we offer a million dollar prize to someone who can show us that we're incorrect in our thinking in that direction. So don't think we're trying to convert you or change your mind or use anything uh, against you or that we, that we have uh, any lack of respect for your, for your beliefs and such. Uh, that's not the case. So we want you to understand that 100%.